In this episode, choosing the right exercise for you. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 213 of The Daily Mother Swo. Today's episode, choosing the right exercise for you. I'm pointing to YouTube, and I'm pointing to Facebook Live. I'm also pointing right at SoundCloud and iTunes. So if you're listening, watching, and watching live, thank you for joining me for episode 213 of The Daily Swole, choosing the right exercise for you. This is a great time of year to talk about this point because many of you are either slacking, either slacking and delaying the fact that you need to get into the gym now before January 1st, or you are planning on starting your working out, or you're in a funk, or you're in a funk, you've plateaued, you kind of hit that level, you kind of hit that wall, and you're looking to bust through. So let's talk a little bit about why you exercise in terms of why you choose certain exercises, and maybe that will help you decide what you should be moving forward with. This could be looked at as choosing a specific movement itself or what just style of training you should look into based on what your goal is. Now, how you eat is a big deal. How you live your life is a big deal. But really, what is your end point? What is your end goal? What are you looking to accomplish long term? What do you want out of fitness? And let's go through a couple of these different categories. There may be more. I'm sure there are, and there are a little more specific ones for you. But let's talk about some of the important ones, the ones that will really stand out to me. And as you um, as you go into fitness, sometimes these things can change. Understand that sometimes you might go in for general health, then you get hooked into the fitness industry, you really love it, and then you want more aesthetics. You want to look a certain way because you get really into it. So just because you choose something at the beginning doesn't mean you can't change your mind, Okay. So as everyone's coming in, again, thank you for joining me. Right before we jump in, make sure you share this broadcast. You can click share. Make sure you click live notifications so you get those notifications so you're following the page. But make sure you share this episode because the more people we get in here, the more information that I will be able to deliver to you and Swole Normous gear will run rampant around the world and we're going to blow this thing up and everyone's going to get huge forever and ever and ever. And it's just the season for giving. So let's share this good information because a lot of you out there and a lot of your friends and family are working out or they're looking to start working out and they have no idea where the F to begin. Okay. So let's jump into a couple of these goals and we'll discuss a little bit more afterwards. First off is strength. Are you trying to improve your force production? How much you can actually lift for whatever reason, for a sport, for an activity, for work, you're just not strong enough. You want to increase that overall strength. Endurance, you get fatigued quickly. Let's say you're walking upstairs, doing your job, work, you know, playing with the kids, taking care of the kids. Just you're getting tired by the end of the day. You're just getting fatigued. You're tired. And that's no good because if you can't make it through your freaking day, uh, you're not really going to make it that well through your entire life. So let's think about that in a macro macro perspective um, as well. Power, if you are, let's say power is more for a sport, but if you need to uh, increase how quickly you move weights or for work, let's say you need to lift things off the ground quickly or you need to unbox things quickly or you're unloading trucks quickly. It could be any number of things, but power is a concept where you're moving a force in a shorter period of time. Overall health, your doctor tells you you have to work out or start working out because you have weaker bone or less, let's say poor bone density, you're, oste- you're osteopenic or you have osteoporosis, uh, you're, you have, let's say you're at risk for a heart disease or anything like that. Health is just the concern, it's general health. Aesthetics, you want to look better, you want to lose weight, you want to lose the gut, you want to get a bigger chest, and that could be an e- that, that's a common component. Stability, you have lack of balance. As you get older, when your balance decreases, your proprioception decreases, you're more at risk for falling, breaking your hip, breaking a bone, and that is a fast track towards ending your life, becoming less functional, becoming depressed, becoming more dependent on others having to live in a home, all sorts of things. Plus, as you get older and if you're osteopenic and you fall, you lose your balance, you break your hip, it's harder to heal. So even if you are mobile, you may not be mobile ever again, and that's a lot for people to swallow, and usually a lot of people go downhill. And that's not just for elderly, that's for young. You have to start now. Flexibility. 
you have back pain, you have chronic pain, you have injuries because you're stiff, because you're tight, you sit in the car all day, you sit at a desk all day, overall flexibility training. So you can get these things from yoga, general strength training, not going to break down every single aspect of what you have to do for each of those, but those are the general topics. Those are the general avenues for stability, flexibility, aesthetics, and health. Yoga is fantastic. If you're looking for strength, weight training, endurance, weight training, and also, you know, calisthenics and power, of course, more with weights. So you have these different categories. Let's say you decide your category. It's going to come down to also experience what level you take this up is going to be determined by how much you've done in the past. If you have experience and also experience might be good or bad experience. If you have some experience or you're very in tune with yourself and you're an expert, if you're an expert, you may not be watching this and taking notes, but if you're a beginner and intermediate, you might be looking for your next leg up. And it's also going to have a factor with availability. It's all well and good to talk about lifting weights. It's all well and good to talk about going to a gym. But what if you don't have access to a gym? So you're trying to build strength, you're trying to build endurance, and you're trying to increase muscle size, but you don't have access to a gym. Well, your goal is going to have to morph a little bit depending on what your actual availability is. And I talk about setting your goal, but I also talk about what you can do and what you have available and morphing your goal around that. Because if your goal is to be a pro bodybuilder, but you don't have access to a gym or weights, well, you have to do a lot of body weight, and I'm sorry, but you're not going to be a bodybuilder to its full ex- extent if you don't have access to resistance training and at least things that you can lift. I'm not saying you have to lift a dumbbell, but if you don't have things you can make shift into dumbbells, it's going to be very hard for you to develop that full, well-rounded physique just because with weights and with machines and with that style of training, you're able to hit the muscles in certain ways that will develop them fully. And push-ups and pull-ups will only do so much, so you need to understand what you have access to, and that's going to lead you to better appropriate what you actually can do with that material. So are you working out at the gym? Are you working out at home? How much time you have to work out and exercise? That will lead you more towards a training style and choosing the right exercise for you. Again, when you're looking at maybe breaking through a chest plateau or a leg plateau, what is your end goal? What have you been doing? So if you're trying to break through a plateau, choosing the right exercise is going to come down to a little bit more what have you been doing, what's different than what you're doing, what is different than what you're doing now that will still lead you towards strength or towards hypertrophy or towards endurance or towards a flexibility. So you want to mix things up. You want to shock the body. It depends on if you're looking for a shock for one workout or for a couple of weeks, but make sure it's still If it's still not maybe directly in the same track of where you're going, at least make sure it's not too far off the beaten path because you don't want to start doing, hey, I need to shock the body. I'm trying to get big legs. I'm doing a lot of squats and deadlifts, but I want to mix it up. So you start doing a lot of long distance running. That's not a good mix up. You're still working your legs, but you're going to blast through a lot of that muscle mass and you're potentially going to hurt yourself because your body has been adapting towards heavy overload resistance and not you know, that pounding, pounding, pounding of running on on concrete, uh, most likely. So you're maybe putting yourself at risk for injury, and not to mention you take yourself off track for your goal. So make sure that your adjustments, your plateau, when you shatter those plateaus, or we try to break through these little lulls in your fitness, that you're actually choosing something that is in line and directly going the same direction, going the same vector of your original goal. So first off, find your goal, understand what you're working out for, what your real purpose is, what you're really trying to accomplish. Adjust for your experience. If you don't have much experience, then you need to take it easy with the weights, take it easy with the intensity, take it easy with the programming. Don't go every day, ease yourself into it. And also the availability. What do you have access to? What can you do? And work your goal and refine your goal based on what availability you have in terms of equipment, machines, and gym situation and things you could do at home with the time you have available. If you don't have much time available, that's also going to be a factor too. So how much time can you allot every day or every week to your exercise will also relate directly and refine your goal even more. Thank you for joining me for episode 213 of The Daily Mother Swole. I will stay for a couple moments and search through the questions and answer a couple things quickly. Remember, at 1 p.m. today, we have an accountability meeting in Small Norma's Premium. 
<clears throat> as always, if you want more information and you want to take this and apply it directly to your life and to your fitness progress, sign up for my Swolnormous Premium. It's a private Facebook group right here on Facebook. You can click the sign up button above in the profile here on Facebook, and it will take you to the, my webpage where you can sign up and get direct access to accountability meetings, daily videos, exercise, nutrition, program design, and accountability to keep you on track. We go into a lot more depth of the Daily Swole, breaking down the exercise and breaking down all this information for how it can help you get you to your goals. And it's the best time to be accountable because of the holidays. This is a tough time for everyone. You may think you have it this year, and then all of a sudden, in the next two weeks, it's going to be a shit show. So make sure you have all your defenses up. And let's see, what else? Swole Normous gear. Link pinned to the top of the page. Click the link to teespring.com slash Solnormous where you can get access to all the gear, men's, women's tees, tanks, hoodies, all that good stuff. And also my latest (coughs) spotlight video, This Is Your Life, which is uh, at the top of the page as well. Awesome video. I love it. Short, sweet, about 28 seconds. Share it. Get out there. Let people know that you want them to get their ass off the couch and do what makes them happy. Thank you for joining me for episode 213. See you tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time for episode 214 of The Daily Swole. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. 